I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. This exercise is kind of my what would you do scenarios. So I give myself drawn tiles, which is 13 for non-dealer and 14 for dealer, and I try to figure out which Yaku to play. If you don't know what a Yaku is yet, that's a scoring element. There's a link to some tutorials below the video if you want to learn how to play. There's also a link in there to a PDF for a player reference that has all the scoring in it. If you have a Mahjong set at home and you know how to play and just want to improve your skills, try this exercise. See if it helps your confidence. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do six random pulls. That's why I have these out. These are counters, also called Tenbo. We're going to go between east and south rounds. And I'm just going to use these dice to randomize which seat we're in. This is actually not part of the game. It'll just keep the exercise spontaneous. So for this first one, I rolled a four. So let's just say we're in north seat, which is seat four. I'm going to draw Dora. Dora is four. This is the Dora indicator. So the next tile up in sequence is Dora. And it will be special if it's in your hand and you win. So four crack is Dora. And this will be the first random pull. So as a non-dealer, we're going to get 14 or 13 tiles. We have some wins, including a pair of north. These are the north. We have a white dragon. Here's a pair of nine dots, five dots. We got a significant number of dots here. I would try for Honitsu. That is a half flesh, one suit with honors. So I would discard these. And because we only have three discards, I think I would sacrifice the four crack. Let's just see real quick. Well, yeah, because we have four discards. We'd have to get rid of all these honors. And we're in seat four. We'd have to sacrifice the pair of our seat wind, which can also be a Yaku and a Han. So I think I would sacrifice this four crack early. So we have a potential Chi, potential Chi, Potential pwn, potential pwn. All we need is a pair. We have one, two, three, four blocks. And we just need a pair here. Or maybe another dot would even be better. So of course we would need to chi these and pwn that, pwn that. That's how I would play this one. If you would play pinfu instead, which is all three in a sequence, and get rid of these, let me know. But I think with only three discards, even though we're going to have to sacrifice Dora, I think this is how I would play it. If you would do something different, write random pool one and what you would do. We're on south round. This time, let's say seat south. Six would be south. So I'll put a two up. The progression of dragons is red, white, green, back to red. So white dragon is Dora this time. For this one, I would sacrifice the honors because we do have cheese in here or potential cheese. Two, four, seven, eight, three, four, five, seven. This is a closed weight. We need the six crack in the middle. We have a side weight where we need a two or a five. We have another side weight with a six or a nine. And then here we have a closed weight. I would get rid of these and play Pinfu. Pinfu and Reach. If you would do something different for this one, write random pull two and what you would do. 
We are now on to random pull three and it's back to east round. We're in south seat again. Dora is one crack. When you pull a nine for the indicator, you go all the way back to the beginning of the sequence, which would be one in this case. So one crack is Dora. This is Akadora. See that stone in there? It's a red five. That's called Akadora, and that's worth a Han. If you include it in your winning hand, you gotta win in order to get any payment for that. I think we would have four discards if we go for Pinfu. That would allow us to mix suits and use this five. We have a pair, a potential Chi. These are isolated. There's work to do there. And then we have another potential chi, and that's isolated. So we have one, two, three. The other option would be to keep the honors and play Honitsu, which is a half flesh. That would leave us with five discards, which is significant. It's really just one more than those honors. I think I'd be tempted to play a half flush here. What would you do? Would you play Pinfu or would you try for Honitsu and sacrifice the Akadora? Hmm. We could maybe hold the Akadora, try for Honitsu. If it doesn't work out and we draw in more number tiles, maybe get rid of these first and see even if we could play all simples if Honitsu doesn't come in. Okay, on to the next one. We're back to south round. And this time we'll be in seat four north. Five dot is Dora. We've got five dot right there. We've got dragons. Okay, I think I would play Pinfu, sacrifice these. We have a potential Chi with Dora, isolated pair, isolated potential Chi here potential chi here. One, two, three, four blocks. So we would just need to pair one of these. Oh, we have a pair here. We need to get another chi in here. So I think that's how I would play this. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Write random pull four and what you would do. We do have all the fives. Maybe we could even play pure double chi if we get a six crack or seven crack because we have, or no, that would be um, mixed triple chi, five, six, seven in each suit. Because we have a five, seven, five, six, we would just need a six bam or a seven bam to make that happen. That would be a nice yaku for this. That's called, um, I think, san sanshoku. Sanshoku, M mixed triple chi. We are at East Round. This is random pull five. This time we're gonna be in East Seat. So we're gonna get 15, 14 tiles. The progression for wins is East, South, West, North. Eat soup with nuts. If you, if you have a hard time remembering the progression, just say eat soup with nuts. 
So north is Dora this time. No Dora. Okay, for this one, we have a pair of nine cracks, potential chi. We have a chi right there and a potential chi here. So we would have one, two, three, four blocks. We would need to draw in supporting tiles for this simple tile here. I think sacrifice the honors and play pinfu again. The other option would be to go with the suit that we have the most of and keep the honors. That would take a lot of work and we would have six discards. This way we would only have three discards and we would have a lot more flexibility working with these numbered tiles. And you can mix suits with Pinfu. If you would do something different on this one, let me know. We are on the last random pull and we are back to south round. This time, let's say we are in north seat. Five crack is Dora. Oh, we have lots of bams. Maybe we could play my favorite hand. No honors. Okay, we're not gonna play Honitsu this time. We have no honors and we have other numbered tiles here. You know what I would do though? I would get rid of this nine crack. We're left with all simples. That's called Tanyao. And I would try to plan it so I have a side weight with all cheese. And that way I could also play Pinfu. So here's seven, eight. There's a side weight. Four, five, side weight. Here's a pair. Got to have a pair. Seven, eight, another side weight. Oh, there's another pair. So we can maybe use this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There's the hand right there. Side weight, side weight, side weight, side weight. This hand is really set up nicely. So we would need a six crack, a four bam, a three bam or a six bam, and then a six bam. I would wanna try to keep terminals out of this mix so that I could also play Tanyao, which is all simples, all two through eight. That's the only challenge here. Let's see here. Actually, hmm, the other thing that we might be able to do, depending on what goes on at the table, there's a hand called Chanta. Chanta is where you have a terminal. Wait, no, that's outside hand. That includes, that includes honors. Um, Jun Chan is terminals in all. We could maybe do seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. No, because we have a pair of simples. Never mind. Chanta would not be good for this one. We'd have to sacrifice a pair and we'd have to sacrifice Akadora. I would play Pinfu and I would play uh, all simples here and reach. That would be three Yaku, including um, the Akadora. That would be four Han. Reach, Pinfu, um, Tanyao and Akadora, that's four Han, which is not bad. And then if we get any Uradora, that would even be better, maybe. That would be luck though. And if lucky, we could maybe even get to Mangan, which is a nice score where you don't have to count many points. I don't like the food table. If you would do anything differently for those, write the random pull number and what you would do. I'm still learning myself. That's why I like doing these exercises. It really does help me identify a direction to go. And that's the sole purpose. During the pick and discard phase of the game, your hand can turn on a dime, especially depending on what the other players are doing. 
what they're exposing, what they're discarding, whether or not they reach, whether or not you choose to push to win or play defense. I guess that would be called pure fold. You could play defensively and then you could fold, which is pure defense. I suppose you could be playing pure defense too and still play to win. This game is very complex, which is one reason why I like it so much. Give it a try if you haven't yet. Again, there's a link below the video to the tutorials and the player reference. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi, may all your picks be keepers.